Greetings and welcome to another Let's Occasionally Play Lion. Alright, let's go into the scenarios. The biological clock. Oh dear. Maji is a nomadic female reaching the end of her prime. A natural inclination has overwhelmed her to procreate. Because she is 10 years old and faces a probable life expectancy of 15, she must mate soon. There are two possible mates in the vicinity. Umar of the Maasai Pride has been a prolific father with maid Mzumba. However, Mzumba and her own daughter Jinja may not be accepting of Maji's presence. Bob, the nomad, is also nearby, but he may be difficult to find. Naji must mate with one of these lions. Remember, lions can be finicky. Oh, Alright, with a part time of four days, should be easy enough. Right. Well, if she's already past her prime, the uh, hands of her biological clock must be giving Maji the finger. I suppose the mere sight of uh, a mother with daughter must have made Maji's uterus twang with excitement. For any other lame jokes, please request for them down below in the comments. Alright, so we already have a sight on the uh, lion and his lionesses. Uh, we're not gonna bother with them for just yet. Uh, after all, as you can see, our hunger, thirst, rest and health are quite low. And it seems to me to be that we should be in our best condition when we are enticing the male. Luckily, there's a source of water nearby. I just hope that the game hasn't spawned anything nasty in the neighborhood. Um, aside from the hyenas, I'm not seeing anything too dangerous. Let's first go for a drink of water. Night time. Ah. Right. And there's the other one, the Nomad Bob. So imaginative these names. Bacon. Got him. Let's eat. Nope. Music seemed to skip. And ah, darn. A human. Eh. Could be a Maasai, but I think it might be a poacher. Best stay away from that. 
best run of this level, I actually ran into a couple of poachers and they shot me. Of course, I lived and killed one of them, but still, it's a point of pride. Now, let's see how finicky... Uh, what was this guy's name again? Already forgot. Safari gives several tricks on how, well, not tricks, uh, suggestions on what you should do to entice his atten attention. Being restless, walking around him and such. Maybe if you are him. And crouching in front of him. Of course, there is no actual way to ensure that anything happens. Ah, there it goes. Bam, bam, thank you. Alright, that is it for this episode. I'll see you all next time. And as a little bonus... A female may enter estrus, or heat, as early as 24 to 28 months, although 3 to 4 years is more common. Estrus usually lasts a week to 14 days and occurs several times a year. An estrus lioness is restless, lying down, getting up, rolling over, twisting on her back. Sometimes the lioness approaches the male, circles him, and perhaps crouches in front of him. During mating, the female makes an almost continuous deep growl, and her facial expression is threatening. The growl of the female may suddenly turn into a snarl, and she will turn toward the male. If he doesn't leave her fast enough, the male may get slapped or clouded by the female. In most cases, the female lion then rolls on her side or back. The male, too, often rolls over on his back. Brief altercations may take place over an estrus female, but they are uncommon. The lioness often makes the decision and may accept several males in succession if she is not attended by one particular male. This is necessary since nearly 80% of the sexual activity does not result in pregnancy. Approximately three and a half months after a lion successfully mates, she temporarily leaves her pride or group to have her cubs. Cubs can be born during any month. Sometimes two or three lionesses give birth about the same time, and they mutually care for all the cubs. The size of the litter varies from one to six cubs, but the average seems to be two or three. Nailed it.